Good morning, traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. U.S. retail data came in much stronger than expected last night. This had an immediate effect on the markets in Asia, which are down this morning, uh, based on the fact that uh, there are no decreased optimism with regards to then uh, monetary easing and uh, economic stimulus from the uh, Federal Reserve. Uh, the dollar has also been strengthened, especially towards Japanese yen. It's trading towards then 78.85 this morning. And commentators think that we soon will see then 80 in relation between euro and US dollar, uh, between yen and uh, US dollar. This is, of course, good news for Japanese exporters. Uh, and other f uh, important uh, figure uh, today is going to be coming with regards to then uh, industrial output and also inflation numbers. If these numbers are going to be as positive as the unemployment and retail figures, we can expect to see a stronger US dollar against most currencies uh, in the time to come. The Euro-US dollar has not been uh, impacted uh, substantially by the retail data. It's still trading around 123.25, keeping within the technical corridor between then the low on 120.42, which we saw in the end of July, and then 124.44, uh, as we saw uh, in uh, the beginning of last week. Uh, trade uh, investors are thinking that uh, it's going to be for the short term movement within this uh, corridor between high and low. Uh, in the long term perspectives and in the medium term pers per uh, perspective, the uh, outlook for the euro is not so positive. Uh, I expect to see might be 115 against the US dollar at the end of the year and many observers are seeing then uh, a parity between the two uh, currencies within a year's time. Oil prices are somewhat down this morning and also gold is trading down. Brent crude is 112. I wish all of you a good trading day from Cyprus.